Well, hey! Pokemon Masters, Berkey Bazobi here, and thank you for joining me. I don't want to be alone in this place anymore. It's really early hours of the morning now, and I'm trying my best to stay awake. I'm trying my best to stay stimulated, so I'm hoping having you here is going to help that. Team Snooze leader or not, I mustn't go to sleep, no matter what the time is. I love this from Watch. It's one of my favorites. It actually reminds me of a Hypnose Pendulum. Isn't it gorgeous? Although, actually, does that even make sense? A Hypnose Pendulum, I mean, how can that send you to sleep? I've been looking up the physics of it, and, well, here's what I found. Hypno is the Hypnosis Pokemon, a creature feared throughout almost all of the Pokemon world. Always holding a pendulum that it rocks at a steady rhythm, it causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. It's based off of the Baku, the Dream Eater spirit of Japanese folklore. But is this possible, Pokemon Masters? Is it possible for perpetual motion to send you to sleep? They rock babies to sleep, or they say you could count Mareep because it's kind of mundane, it's boring, it will send you to sleep. Don't try it right now, I'm really trying my best here to stay awake. But the thing is, hypnosis isn't even really sleep. It's a meditation state, a state of focus. It is a, a trance through which a hypnotist, or maybe hypno, will give you suggestions. For example, they give you the object, the pendulum or the spoon, and the idea is that you focus in on it, that you stare at it, that you get into a deep state of trance and you just listen to my voice as I give you subtle commands, like to subscribe and hit the notification button because the sub boxes aren't working. Sorry, fourth wall break. The thing is though, when it comes to Hypno, I suspect its intentions are far darker than helping you out with your meditation. Putting you in a trance or in a dream, either one, it is feeding you dark thoughts and then feeding off of those dark thoughts, powering itself and making you suffer. They say in the Alola region that Hypno leaves people alone because of the presence of a Pokemon called Kamala, a Pokemon that is permanently asleep, permanently comatose. It can't wake up to tell us any different, so I can't be sure, but I suspect that those Kamalas are in excruciating pain for the entirety of their lives. And Hypno gets an easy meal. Sleeping Pokemon Masters just feels like a silly thing. I mean, evolutionarily speaking, why would we evolve to lay motionless for hours every single day while there are predators out there? And again, first thing on a Monday morning when you're absolutely exhausted, just staying in bed a few more hours, but no, I can't. I can't go to sleep, especially when the predators live in the world of your dreams. I have been studying the world of the dreams of Pokemon. I've been sharing my research notes with Dr. Fenoff from Unova, who tells me that that space, their dreams, it's like a real place, an alternate dimension, much like Ultra Space. Funny, because there is an Ultra Beast that shares its connections with the night sky. Of course, I'm talking about Lunala, a creature that opens up ultra wormholes and lets creatures from its world into ours to destroy them. Much like Necrozma, a creature that will shroud our world in complete darkness. I've been alone in the dark, listening to the sounds of Lavender Town. I've been to the old chateau and met the spirit of a young girl. I could barely survive the night there myself. And I have seen the end of the world caused by the Ultra Beast and even beyond into the apocalypse. I am Birdkeeper Toby, ultimate Pokemon adventurer! I'm so sorry, Pokemon Masters. I am just so sleep deprived. I am so exhausted. Problem is, stay awake, something bad could happen. Go to sleep, something bad could happen. Stay awake, it could mean that I am a fatal familial insomniac. There's only really a hundred cases known around the world and these people never sleep. And as a result, their brain doesn't get the chance to recharge. It shuts down and they die. Of course, go to sleep and I might suffer from sleep paralysis, a condition in which the victim believes that they are awake. The dreamer thinks that what they're experiencing is real when goblins, demons, or reported monsters sit on their chest. That's what they see. They believe it's real and they cannot move. They scream for help and they cannot be heard. Anyone who's gone through this experience knows that it is completely terrifying. And here in the Pokemon world, there are monsters in our dreams, especially here in the Canalive Inn, the hotel on the harbour. This is where a particular legendary Pokemon lives in the world of dreams. It is terrifying, but I think I'm gonna have to go to sleep. I think I have to face it. If I don't wake up Pokemon Masters, then you can consider this my final snooze. It means that I've met the mythical Pokemon Darkrai, the nightmare monster that parents warn their kids about. Don't be naughty or Darkrai will get you. But it's no laughing matter. According to its Pokedex entries, Darkrai is probably just protecting its own habitat. Perhaps the Harbour Inn was built on Darkrai's home and now it takes people in their dreams to warn people to stay away. And by rights I should probably do that, but if there's a chance that I can save those who have been taken before me, then I have to try it. If I don't wake up though, 
I will be in a coma. A coma is an extended period of unconsciousness in which I won't be able to respond to the outside world or outside stimuli. I will be in the world of dreams forever, potentially never waking up. Pokemon Masters, if I don't wake up, if I don't make it out there and I can't beat Darkrai, then it's a good thing you're here. My research has indicated there is another legendary Pokemon, part of the Lunar Duo that has the power to repel Darkrai. If I don't wake up, do me a favor, find that Pokemon and bring me out of my snooze. I can't believe I'm saying that. Sleep well, Pokemon Masters. Head on down to the links in the description to join us over on Patreon for all the exclusive perks. A thank you to those people who make this channel possible. And a big thank you to the massive patrons this month, Umbreon Libris and Nerd4U. Thank you.